Hello everybody! Welcome to art class. It's your art teacher, Mr. Mingoni here. And today we're going to be making some cool drawings of buildings. And we call that architecture. You see this word right here? It's kind of a big one. Architecture. All right. An architect is a certain type of artist who designs buildings. That's right. Buildings don't just grow right out of the ground. An artist actually designs them. And an artist designs them not only to look cool, but also to work really well, right? They think about how the building's gonna work and what the building needs. So that's kind of what we're gonna be doing today. You're gonna be creating three thumbnail sketches of buildings. A uh, thumbnail sketch is something I will tell you about in a little bit of what a thumbnail sketch is. But you're gonna be drawing three sketches of buildings and each one is going to have a purpose to it, okay? So let me show you on the slideshow here some examples of different buildings. So, We'll just go forward for a minute. Look at that building. It almost looks like it's falling apart, doesn't it? Here, let me put myself back up here, actually. Ah, sorry, I'm struggling a little bit here. There we go. Look at that building. That is really cool. Um, that That is an artist who designs a lot of buildings, and it kind of almost looks like it's falling apart, but it's not. That's what it's supposed to look like. And I showed you this one just to show you Buildings can be wild and crazy. People make some crazy buildings, right? Um, and here is another one. This is, it looks like, I mean, what do you think that building is made for? That's what we want to be thinking about is what is this building for, right? Um, if I look at it, I see some windows and I see upstairs and downstairs and a little front yard with a car parked in it. Makes me think maybe that's a house. Right? Those are things that show that it's a house. It's got the different rooms. There's a car outside. So that's a house. Um, that's a weird looking house. And I want you to consider that you can make, if you're making a house, you can make them look pretty wacky if you want to. This building, I wonder what that building is for. I wonder if just by looking at it, you can tell what it is. That's a school. Yep, yeah, that's a school. And there's some things that show us that it's a school. What are some things that show you that it's a school? Think about that. We have this road here, right? That's so people can drop their kids off, right? Maybe school buses come through. Big entryway so lots of students can come in. A lot of doors up here. Big open window, maybe that's for a big room like a cafeteria. And different, lots of different little rooms for classrooms. So those are all things that show you this is a school, right? The purpose is that it's a school to teach kids. And, and here's another one. This is called a Victorian house. And I wanted to show you this just um, to show you that if you're making a house, just like that other picture, there's a lot more you can do with it than draw the typical house with like a little triangle roof that we always draw. Uh, this one has like a little tower. It's got a balcony and it's got little details. So many little details and patterns all over. Lots of different windows different parts of the house. So just get, to get your imagination going about houses. And then also look at that one. What do you think that building is for? It's a candy store. That is a really cool looking candy store. And we can tell it's a candy store. We have the Statue of Liberty holding some, some lollipops and a <laughs> chocolate bar here. And I think it's inside a mall, right? Because we see people coming and going from there. And we see different candy, like, uh, characters over here. Like, that's the Sour Patch Kid. And it's very colorful, right? If you're looking for candy, you're probably looking for something like that. Um, so there's a lot of things here that show us that that's a candy store. So we're going to go back now to this page. So um, we, oh, sorry. we are creating three sketches of buildings. Um, and we're going to decide what the purpose of each building is. All right, so I put some examples here. Um, these are some drawings that students made of buildings. These ones have like lots of patterns and decorations on them. This one's a house. But look, you see this house? You see this house right here, right? It's different than that. This is that typical house with the triangle roof and a square that's it's okay, but we can do better than that. I, the point of this is to be very imaginative and imagine a new kind of building. So even something like this house is a little more interesting. And here we have a couple different creative buildings. This one's a little twisty kind of building. 
Um, I, these look like maybe, I think these are actual buildings in Minneapolis. I kind of recognize them. So just some ideas to get your brain going. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna also do some drawing for you uh, to to help you figure out how to get started with this if you're feeling a little lost. So I'm gonna aim my camera down and we can see my drawing space here. I gotta turn it around. There we go. So it said that we're doing thumbnail sketches of buildings. That's a strange word. What does a building have to do with a thumbnail? Well, a thumbnail sketch just means a little quick drawing, okay? It's like a small drawing. You do it kind of quickly. It's not full of detail. It's basically like a little plan, okay? Because I want you to plan out three different buildings. And then on our next lesson, you're going to pick the one that you like the most. And you're going to draw a bigger picture of that one, okay? So for today, we're drawing three little sketches, three little plans for buildings that you don't have to spend too much time on each one, okay? So a good way to think about how to draw a building is to think of it with shapes, all right? Think of basic shapes. So if we're drawing that one house that I was talking about, you know, everybody in school kind of, or like, I don't know where we learn this, certainly not from me, <laughs> but we learn how to draw this house that looks like this, right? And that's cute. I think we draw this house because it's kind of easy and Maybe when you're young, you can learn how to draw this, and um, it's like, oh, look, now I can draw a house. That's good. It's beautiful. It's really cute. I don't hate this house. It's, it's nice. But what we're doing for this lesson is we're trying to draw something a little more complicated than that, right? Like something a little bit more imaginative, because you have a very powerful imagination. You're all so awesome with that, and I want you to be able to use your imagination. So how about if I was making a house, let's try some shapes. I'm going to draw with a purple so that you can see it really well. So I'm going to draw some shapes here. Um, instead of just starting with a square for my house, let's come up with a new shape. Something like that. Hey, why not? Right, I'm going to just kind of stack some weird shapes together and try to make a house. We've got a square here and a, the triangle is down here. Maybe this house has a tower here. And the tower looks like that. Now that is an interesting shape for a house, okay? And since it's just a thumbnail sketch, I'm just gonna put a few basic things, like where's the door gonna go? I think my door will go here. Maybe I'll put some kind of window here. Maybe I'll put a balcony here so I can have like a little fence. Maybe some decorations over here, right? Stuff like that, just a few things. Probably some circle windows here. Maybe some stairs to go up to the tower. So this is kind of about as detailed as a thumbnail sketch needs to be. Some basic shapes, mark out where you want to put everything. Next time we're going to make one that's we're going to spend more time on. So let's try another building. Well, actually, before we move on to another building, I want to look at this. Our learning target says, use shapes to create three thumbnail sketches of buildings and then decide what the purpose of each building is, right? So I have to decide, what is this building for? Is it a candy factory? No, this building is a house, right? I might even write house, just so I know, just so I can remember. Now, for my next one, because I gotta do three sketches, let's see, what could I make? I wish I could ask you all right now what kind of building I could make. Um, maybe I'll make, um, a place where they have concerts, like a music, a music place. So I'm gonna think, all right, what does a music place need? I'll start with some big shapes, okay? So just to get my imagination going, I'll start with a, a shape. And it's gonna need lots of doors, so lots of people can come in, right? And then, I think what's gonna happen is, maybe I'll have stairs that go up. Each one of these sides can have little stairs going up. And then those will go to a big platform up here. And then we have chairs. This is like, this is gonna represent the seats where people sit. And then up here, this is the stage. So it's like a music place where they go up the stairs and they get to sit up on this balcony and watch music. So I'll put like, um, and sometimes they wanna have big screens so people can see. And then they want, wanna have speakers for the sound. And then here I'll just put like a quick little drawing of like a guy with a guitar, 
it's kind of just a little scribble, but this is just, just a plan, right? It's our sketch. So for next time, I'm gonna pick one and decide uh, which one's gonna be best for me that I wanna use. Okay, so you get to, you're gonna pick what kind of buildings you wanna make. You're gonna do three sketches of those buildings, okay? I'm gonna be sketching a couple more buildings down here, but I wanna give us some work time. So you can get your drawing supplies out and start planning it out. And just remember, starting out with some basic shapes is the best way to do this. Just make up some new shapes or just stack shapes together like they're blocks or something and come up with some cool buildings. Not a lot of pressure here, it doesn't have to be perfect. This isn't even a final drawing. It's just planning and trying things out. So don't be afraid to try out some new things when you're making your buildings, all right? I just, I wanna encourage you to try your very best not to draw this house that's like a square with a triangle on top. I want us to try something a little more than that. All right, I'm gonna put on some nice music for us and let you work for a little while and I'll check in in a few minutes.
right, everybody. I hope you're doing okay with your drawings. If you want to like get up and stretch a little bit, take a little break, that's fine. I can show you what I'm doing here. I wonder if you can guess what this building is for. Because every building, remember, we want to have a purpose. We want to have, we want to know what is this building for. I wonder what this is for. Well, it's called Game Zone. So this is actually an arcade. Right, an arcade is a place that people go to play video games. There's not a lot of them left anymore, but they're around, and I really like arcades. They're really fun. And you can tell it's an arcade because, well, it says Game Zone, but it looks like if you go upstairs, there's some different games, like a motorcycle game, and this is a dancing game. And these are what the arcade games look like, and maybe a basketball game. And this says VR for virtual reality. So like you put on these little headsets and you go into this room and you can play virtual reality games. They even got a pizza stand, right? So if you're getting tired from playing games, you get a slice of pizza, get your energy back, and even an outdoor little patio area with a TV where people can play games. So I put all of these things that show us what, um, what it's for. Now I could add so many details. I could add colors and designs and people and all of these things, but we don't have to do that just yet. Because remember, like it says on our learning target, we're just doing sketches, quick sketches that are like a plan for what you're gonna do. Okay? So I have my three I have my three sketches. Alright, I've got the house, the music place, and the game zone. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to my pictures. Um, because next time I want you to pick one that's your favorite and we're going to make a really nice, big, detailed picture of that one and we're going to develop it a little bit more, okay? So you go ahead and keep working. Uh, I'm going to wrap up the video lesson for now, but that does not mean that you have to stop working. I want you to make sure you get, uh, make sure you get your three sketches of your buildings finished, all right? And if you need to go back pause the video on this screen to see what you're supposed to do. That's totally fine. You take as much time as you need, all right? And you know what? If you want to draw five buildings, go for it, okay? So just keep drawing. Um, I want you to just be kind to yourself. If you make mistakes, be nice to yourself. Don't be like, oh, I'm so bad at this. Be like, I'm learning. I'll figure it out. It's just a sketch, and I'm sure I'll work it out, okay? If you make mistakes, you don't have to start over. You just try to figure out a way to work with them, because remember, Mistakes are totally normal, all right? We all make mistakes. So keep on making art, okay? You're doing great, and I can't wait to see what you make. So you can send me some of your sketches if you want. And I'll see you next week. Love you all. Take care.